Hi kittens, it's Robin here. Happy Catter Day. Welcome to your daily tarot card reading for Saturday, May 20th. Okay, so this is the Black Cat Tarot that I'm going to start shuffling. Um, <clears throat> so I did get a song in my head just before I started to press play and how many people, I'm really dating myself here, uh, remember the Bay City Rollers, okay? So this song, Rock and Roll Love Letters, started playing through my head. And there's always a reason for that. So let's find out what that is. And I just have a, a mad confession for you guys. Like I did the whole, like rolling up my jeans and wearing the plaid socks and just had a huge crush on the band. And me and my BFF when we were in elementary school just would like rock out to the Bay City Rollers all the time. So <laughs> anyway, enough of the true confessions. What do we got going on here? Okay, so it, it seems like a completely different vibe today. So <clears throat> yesterday we saw a little bit of maybe you or somebody else struggling with self-perception and, and real, like perhaps unattainable goals and, and coming to the fact that that's okay. Okay, so when you start to accept every every single thing about you, that's when you really truly come into your powers. Like when you can absolutely afford yourself the love that you deserved, okay? So <clears throat> I see written and like in reels or whatever that it's really important to become the adult that you needed when you were a child, okay? So you maybe wanna think about that and how that might resonate because even if we had really, really exceptional parents, there was maybe something that they didn't understand about you or maybe they rejected it about you. So now there is this real bond that you can perform through timelines. And I've talked about Kenneth Suarez uh, meditations before and inner child healing, which are really beautiful. But there's this different perception of self today. And that's what really allows in this magician energy when you're just so calm and self-assured that you understand that everything that you are doing and everything that you were brought down to earth school for is to really create the life that you want, not based on what somebody else wants for you, okay? So I know that's a really deep first card, but this is why people, as they, they grow older and more mature, they seem so impenetrable because they, they just, they know who they are, okay? So this could be a little bit of a self-exploration for you. And what have we got here, okay? So... I really love this Seven of Swords and it's kind of crossing like the bridge of woes, if you ask me, okay? So it does seem like there is some hurdle that you're able to jump and, and not just jump it, but clear it, okay? So the Seven of Swords is kind of this tricky and conniving um, energy. I'm just gonna write your video title down before I forget. So this is kind of a indication to me that like you just stopped kidding yourself and, and just really embrace who you are right at the core, okay? And there could be that timeline healing um, that I'm getting for you, which is why I could have maybe remembered a song from like very early on in my childhood because you could go back and and say words to your inner child or just have a visualization of having a conversation of you as a child and, and giving them comfort and um, things to strive for, okay? So let me pull another card here. We do have the Eight of Wands. So, I mean, this is just so powerful in the sense that things can move really, really, really quickly you know, once you tap into your powers with the magician card and, and just feeling like a whole person and, and stop care, caring about what other people are doing with their lives, at least stop comparing yourself to them, you know? Um, I'm gonna pull one more card. I think this is a really important card here. Um, sort of the Six of Wands, like, like really amplifying yourself. I'm gonna make a book recommendation for you guys. It's called The Three Magic Words. 
And I'm not going to tell you about the three magic words because you kind of have to read the book to get there. But this is what this evolution of self and your growth. And, and I know this is kind of a deep reading and, and maybe that's not what everybody goes to tarot card readings for. But I am a spiritual reader. So that's why I get these messages for you. But Wayne Dwyer also talks about that book, Three Magic Words. So I really see that, you know, you're kind of on the cusp of greatness in your life. And all you have to do is, is really have that faith in yourself. And the magician just works into that so, so deeply. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys think about that. And let me know what you think of the reading in the comments. And I'm going to go. Bye.